Hello and welcome to the Wellness Trinity Podcast, where we interview top holistic experts and bring you natural solutions for modern day wellness. Let's get started with your host, Dr. Jacqueline. Hi, welcome. Thank you for joining the Wellness Trinity Podcast. I am Dr. Jacqueline from the wellnesstrinity.com, where we provide natural solutions for modern day wellness. Today, we are going to discuss mental health, suicide prevention, and how to keep your sanity during these times of the coronavirus. Just a little disclaimer before we get started. What we discuss in this podcast is for educational and entertainment purposes only. What you do with the information is to be used at your discretion as the recommendations are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. So this episode was sponsored by Cellcore Biosciences. Creating supplements that work is what they do and restoring hope and health is who they are. I have been using Cellcore's products and protocols for the last year and have seen incredible results with my clients. Cellcore provides solutions to modern day health challenges which help people regain their energy and have their life back. I am now one of their agent account managers for Oregon and Nevada. So if you're in those regions and you're a practitioner, I'm your go-to girl. If you're the general public and you would like to do a cell core detox, then visit the wellnesstraining.com slash cell core detox. Today I have Vanessa Becerra back on the show and she's my good friend and colleague from Las Vegas. She's a neurotherapist intern and we're looking forward to, to diving deep in this mental health and suicide topic because um, things are obviously getting shaken up around here and um, before even these things got shaken up we were already kind of discussing that we should have a podcast on this I had um, two people uh, semi near to me commit suicide which anyone committing suicide is not okay um, but just the fact that a friend's boyfriend and my cousin's daughter uh, committed suicide. It was just too much. And um, so being able to dive deep and figuring out reasons why this is happening and it seems on the rise is definitely something that has been on my radar. So Vanessa brings a whole nother element to what I do. It's very complimentary. And, and so Vanessa, welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Dr. Jacqueline, for having me here. Vanessa from Brainwaves and Counseling Reporting. And you are absolutely right, Dr. Jacqueline, as far as uh, suicide, it's another, um, it's another thing that we got to be preventative, especially in times of chaos with this coronavirus going on. We're all susceptible to um, our mental health. And right now, people are in panic and they're anxiety are off the charts. They're worried about their finances. They're worried about their family members. And we want to give them a sense of hope and a sense of peace and also just become aware of the tools that we have or the services or the products that we have to help them out in these times of needs. I think um, it's very important that we talk about this. I personally have been impacted by suicide myself. My sister passed away three years ago uh, and she died of suicide. She was in a deep depression and um, she was having a lot of emotional issues. And unfortunately, she fell into this category. And, you know, even though we want to be hopeful and we want to um, just become aware, we also want to take preventative measures so that our families are safe right now. I think safety is a huge emotional need. And unfortunately, because of everything that's going on, we really don't feel safe. Like our health has been threatened. And you and I both work in the healthcare field, trying to keep people and our clients healthy as much as possible, as well as our community healthy. And I think this is the purpose of this video is just so that we can share our insights mm -hmm. to keep our community healthy. So thank you so much for, for your invitation. And, um, you know, talking a little bit about what happens to our brain when we are suicidal and some of those signs that are so evident, you know, it's just important that we keep an eye out, especially in these times, because financial instability is one of those triggers that can lead us to suicidal thinking. And we have to uh, become aware that a lot of people are on the same boat as us right now. They're, everybody's going through this financial instability. Whether you have a job or you lost a job, you're laid off. Um, this is a moment of transition, a moment of tra uh, transition in how we think about things, right? So our thoughts right now are so, so important. Mm -hmm. Why don't you expand on the thoughts? What, what kind of thoughts um, are people having you know, related to all that? And, and what do you do about that? 
I believe a lot of paranoia is going on and in terms of brain, you know, right here in the frontal lobe is when we, where we make decisions. And, um, you know, I've been seeing it with my clients, the paranoia has gotten up. Um, so there's this disbalance when there's paranoia, you know, we're thinking either with one side or the other side of our brain, it's the same thing with anger. So we're thinking with one side versus both sides. Um, our hemispheres are supposed to communicate. And when they're not communicating well, we're taking and making decisions just with 50% of our potential and our capacity. So it's really important in these times of panic to learn how to relax and learn how to calm down. Um, as far as feelings, besides the paranoia, besides the anger, I, I touched on this, the anxiety is off the roof right now. And the way that we deal with our anxiety is by enhancing what I call the alpha wave. So the alpha wave is what keeps us nice and calm. And I know it's hard to tap into that right now, but things that increase the alpha wave, for instance, is meditation, listening to relaxing music, drinking a hot tea, bubble bath, exercise, anything that is going to help you to relax. Right now, we don't have an excuse as far as time. A lot of people have been laid off. This is the time that we get to dedicate to ourselves, to our family, maybe watching some comedy. Uh, please try to disengage from the news if you can, because it's just feeding that anxiety. We have to be careful. And if you are going to engage in the news because you want to update yourself on information, try to get it in written form, uh, because there's the, then there's no emotions to it. Like when we're watching the news, we're getting um, influenced by the news reporter, their facial expressions. So we're going to get any kind of information, it's just important that we get it in written form and being mindful of our behavior during this time because we can also elicit that stress on our children if we have children or significant others or maybe our grandparents. And remember that there's populations that are just more susceptible to this than others. We also understand in healthcare that when there's stress and panic and anger and these icky emotions that sometimes we all experience, that it's just it's going to affect our immune system and maybe you can, you know, mm -hmm. you know, deliver a little bit more information on the immune system, uh, Dr. Jacqueline. But as far as on my behalf, when stress hits and anxiety hits and panic hits, our immune system goes down. And then when our immune system goes down, we're more susceptible to any illness. And I think mm -hmm. that's what we want to avoid right now. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, on the topic of the news, um, I definitely think that it is it is good to know. It is good to do your research on what's going on um, and where things are going because that helps us to be prepared. But it, what where are you getting your news from is really the question. Um, there's a lot of bad news sources. They're not real news. It's fake news. And so I, this is a great time to kind of explore what's really truth. <laughs> right, Vanessa? There's a lot of stuff that is just not real out there and we listen to it like it's ultimate truth. And then we wonder why we didn't know like this something like this happening um we've been looking and getting our news from sources that are not normal to most people and we saw this coming because of that so um so i would definitely expand on that it, you know it's good to know and, and then there's people even within that field that are giving a little bit more of what's reality um there's going to be people that are more emotional and you know you might want to stay away from those and then there's going to be people that are more level-headed that are like here this is the facts these are the numbers this is what's going on i personally i'm with you i don't really like listening to the ones that are really emotional about it because i mean i could feel it my body's very sensitive i could feel it i could i start getting riled up too and i'm like Whew, I gotta take a deep breath. <laughs> so, so I, I personally like the ones that are just giving me the facts and I'm like, okay, this is obviously a bad situation. It's probably gonna get worse. This really sucks. At the same time, you know, how can I deal with this in the best rational way? Because if I'm all stirred up too, I can't even think straight of how to make the best decision of what's next. How do I prepare myself? But if I can stay as calm as I can, I can make a better decision. And you're right, it totally affects our immune system. Just the way that I was talking about how I get physically affected, like you could feel your body tense up. When I do live blood analysis, you could probably see the cells actually just coagulating like this, like, but, you know, and then when that happens, then you can't get all the oxygen that you need and you can't get all the nutrients you need in different areas in the body. So yes, it totally affects your immune system. There's a lot of content I'm putting out there right now where you can dissect later, where it does break down how to build your immune system. It's not just one silver bullet. There's multiple different ways. And that's why we're having Vanessa on here because she does neurofeedback and she uses things like binaural beats that calm the body down and 
um, or depending on what you're trying to do are incredible. You want to talk about those binaural beats? Yeah, most definitely. So we know music is powerful. And uh, what differentiates binaural beats from other music is that binaural beats is in a certain frequency. And you can go on YouTube and put in binaural beats, it starts with a B as in boy, binaural. And uh, these beats will help you relax. There's different ones for different things. We know music is on a frequency, our brain is on a frequency. And uh, we wanna use the tools we have accessible to us because a lot of us are maybe within constricted areas so we're in our homes we it's really important that we make a list of things that we can do at home because for instance the other day when our governor here in nevada announced that all the non-essential businesses were to close down i did get into this anxiety stressful mode myself and i caught myself i said wait a minute vanessa you got to do something about this stress because if i just sit there and marinate in that stress it's really not going to be productive it's going to harm my immune system it's going to harm my mental health and my sanity and right now i have to be sane for myself for my family my loved ones my clients that are still you know coming in and seeing me and everybody's talking about this topic right so i just started to organize my house i, I literally cleaned almost everything i could clean because organization gives us that sense of control you know we're we're in control of our environment our, our immediate environment whereas we have we have this feeling that we have lost control on the outside world and so that's going to bring more anxiety because it is within our human nature to want to have things especially in our life within control um this is also bringing a lot of financial discontrol so going back to that topic of suicide you know it's people who are suicidal have these tendencies to think my life is not within my control anymore i lost my job i lost my relationship i lost um you know my family i grief there's different reasons why people become suicidal and so we want to make sure that right now we can identify the things that we can control and the things that we can't and surrendering right we had talked about this word with you and being able to surrender the things that are out of our control because with this virus and this um you know these issues that are going on there's things that we can't control so being okay with that being momentarily okay with that and also acknowledging that as a human species we've been surviving these things continuously so going back into our success as humanity because anything that we think about the future too much is going to bring that anxiety and that stress and once again we want to we want to take a step back we want to be able to be calm in the midst of chaos and you know i've been so inspired to to relieve people from that i actually started a new facebook page called vb bautista the peaceful brain coach because i saw this need literally i started it two days ago and i have over a hundred people right now um who signed up for for that page and i've been delivering these messages of just let's keep our peace i know it's not peaceful out there Mm -hmm. There's everything to to get you in this chaotic mindset, but we can we we have two options I can dive into this chaotic torturous mindset or I can also tap into this other mindset Which is allowing me to know Vanessa you have all this free time, right? Mm -hmm. What are you gonna do on this free time? What is something that you've always wanted to do and for me? It's been able to outreach more to the people so I've also developed a YouTube channel just in these past couple of days things that i thought were so hard to do are all of a sudden are becoming easily done why because i have the mental space and the time and so you know having a job and having purpose in your life are two different things i'm very blessed that i can combine both i really do feel my profession is my purpose and my calling in this life but you know that might not be the story for a lot of people so right now is the time where you get to tap into your purpose what is it that you were put on this earth yeah. to do? Because I'll tell you something, your job and your purpose are two different things. Sometimes they're not, sometimes they're, they're you know, in unison. But once again, we got to think deeper and then focusing on nature, focusing on Mother Earth. We've seen that the pollution has been going down. There are some benefits to what's going on. Let's step into that. Let's step into that positive mm -hmm. things that are right. happening around the world. Yeah. Oh my God, Vanessa, 
all of that was just so beautiful. Um, yeah, if we can focus on what is good that's happening from this, it, it definitely can help to re relieve that anxiety and depression of, oh my gosh, my life just got turned upside down. Um, I've had some, some periods of stress in the last week too, where, uh, like you said, go, get back, let's get back to the earth. Okay. A lot of us are so disconnected. We live in these mega cities and to go in nature is just, it's crazy to think. I mean, I got blessed. Now I live with, with a bunch of trees. Um, but at the same time, I'm in my house all the time too. So I've felt myself stressed in the last uh, week a couple times and just going outside and now that the sun is starting to shine again and, and working out on, on my garage and seeing the sun, I can't tell you how quickly my attitude and like how I was feeling shifted just because I got grounded. <laughs> so there's something about that. So many of us are already ungrounded. And when we add something like the coronavirus and all these uh, current affairs that are just tipping us over um, and changing our life very rapidly, um, it's, it's a reminder, hey, let's get back to the earth, like you said. Let's get back. There's something really powerful about putting our feet in the ground, seeing the sun, and uh, not everyone has sun right now, but some of you guys are seeing blips of it, and um, doing what you can do. You can get in a sauna. A sauna is going to be also another way where you can get those infrared rays. If you have one at home and you're not living in a place with, that has the sun yet, then that's another way that you can get grounded in a different way. So take a bath. Uh, those Epsom salts are very grounding as well. They pull, they just, I mean, I see my husband go in there and he's like a whole different person when he comes out. <laughs> I'm sure he's going to listen to this and be like, I can't believe she said that, but it's for the greater <laughs> good, honey. <laughs> People mm -hmm. know that <laughs> it will help with their anxiety and, and just feeling um, <laughs> off right now. So, you know, Vanessa, since you're a mental health expert, um, why don't you talk about how people, um, when do people know when they're in a depression? Yes. Our, uh, so there's um, levels of sadness. Sadness is a normal feeling. We can feel sad. We can feel upset. That's normal. Uh, when it starts to become depression and a chronic issue is when it's affecting our body. You know, if this sadness, if this depression doesn't let you go to work, if this sadness or depression doesn't let you um, get up from your bed and make breakfast for your children or take care of your children. Um, with this sadness and depression um, is affecting your sleep. It's affecting the way that you're thinking. You're always depressed. You know, sadness usually comes and it goes, you know, it'll come for a couple of maybe like minutes or hours sometimes, but then it'll go away. It won't come back for a while. But depression is something that we see in people that is like an everyday thing and they can't shift their mood, you know? During our day, we have all these moods. Sometimes we'll be angry, we'll be stressed, we'll be happy, we'll be sad. And that's normal, right? So there's, we're human. We're going to have emotions and feelings. Um, but what's not normal is when you get stuck on a feeling, right? Mm -hmm. So if we're stuck on depression, um, that's when it starts to be worrisome. And unfortunately, some people get depression, they don't treat it, it becomes suicide, mm -hmm. right? So it's very important that if we are experiencing depression, we don't allow it to go into that other phase. Because once you allow it to go into the other phase, then you're more prone and you're more at risk. And we have to pay attention to those symptoms, right? So first of all, how are you eating? Are you eating your three meals a day? How are you sleeping? Anywhere from six to nine hours is what we recommend. Some people think, well, Vanessa, I've been sleeping 12 hours. That must be better. No, oversleeping is not good and can also be a symptom of depression. Taking multiple naps a day, you know, and of course, this is also related to your age. If you're a baby, you're going to be taking multiple naps a day. If you're a senior, you're going to be taking multiple naps a day. But, you know, for most people, anywhere from six to nine hours is what we recommend. Undersleeping is not good. Um, if you're waking up in the middle of the night consistently, you're having broken sleep, that is not good. For our brain to be healthy, sleep is the most important thing. Now, with everything that's going on right now, it's going to be hard for some people to go to sleep because they're overthinking, you know, they're in that high beta frequency. And we need to tune down that frequency. We need to go down all the way to delta. The delta brain is what manages our REM sleep. That's where our cells get rejuvenated. That's where we reset that button, you know, every day, we have to be able to, to just, you know, reset. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
What are the frequencies for, you said delta is good for sleep and alpha is to help calm someone down. What are the frequencies, if someone's going to look up binaural beats on YouTube, how can they search that? Yeah, um, alpha wave, uh, binaural beats for alpha waves. I've, I've tapped into that a couple of times on YouTube for theta waves too. So most of us are functioning on the beta brain wave. Um, we're thinking these are we're all thinking brain waves. And um, in order for our body to be calm, so when we meditate, we tap into the alpha. The alpha brain wave is what allows us to be calm. Also, we'd be doing deep breathing. So some people are not comfortable with the word meditation. Just um, deep breathing if you're not comfortable with that word. But that deep breathing, that coherent breathing, breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth, like that, so that we can consciously think about our breathing instead of automatically, because we all breathe. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been breathing since we were born, but um, we only use one third of our capacity in our lungs. So we want to make sure that we use the full capacity of our lungs. And when we're engaging in deep breathing and we're closing our eyes. So when we close our eyes, we even elevate that alpha wave even further. And once we're on alpha, we can top in, we can go down in frequency. Because when we're going to sleep, we're going down in frequency. Remember that our brain is both chemical and electrical. So my mm -hmm. specialty is in the electrical part of the brain. So when we are up in alpha and we're meditating, we're able to calm down. And then we go into theta, which is that state of being half awake, half asleep. A lot of healing happens in this stage. Um, and then we go into the delta. So we're going down in frequency as we sleep until you know, delta brain waves is what, what we eventually want to get into. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So basically if people are going to try to use those, um, just search for alpha waves or even, even sometimes if you just search for binaural beats for sleep, it will just automatically yeah. populate. Um, but if you mm -hmm. want to look up just specifically for delta waves or alpha waves, um, and I'm sure if you talk to Vanessa or you follow her stuff, you'll see which ones you can, um, are, are going to be best for you as well. I know when I went to her, she put things all over my head and my body and, and then we saw my brain waves and my, my Delta wave was definitely off at the time I, and my sleep was off from, um, the holistic practitioner side. I can tell you that people's sleep can be very compromised when they have things like parasites that will wake us up in the middle of the night, that will keep us up, that will drain our energy, and that will make us want to take naps during the day and things like that too. Um, that will cause us to be more angry and more suicidal and, and lash out on people. I mean, I get it from my clients sometimes. <laughs> I have to remember it's the bugs yelling at me. Um, so, you know, that, that just dealing with that is dealing with, um, dealing with your immunity and it's also able to help you to sleep better. So some of you guys that don't feel like uh, six to nine hours is what I can get. Some, some of you guys probably feel like maybe you're like in either four or you're too much. Um, it could be because you have these pathogens that are affecting that. So, um, you know, I wanted to touch real quick on the, the purpose part of this. There's a lot of peace that comes when you feel like you're uh, fulfilling your purpose. And I see this as a time for many people to have that connection with God or whoever you call him. And figure out what is your purpose. Maybe, maybe it was a blessing in disguise that this job that you hate is not available right now because it's time for you to learn a new thing. And learning that new thing, I can tell you when I did that for myself in my 20s, gave me so much peace. It didn't matter that I wasn't making money. It didn't matter that I, I went from making all this money to making nothing and being in debt because I had peace that was just surpass everything when I was making all the money in the world in my 20s. And it came, came easy. It wasn't really easy because my heart was suffering. So some, for some of you guys, this might really be a blessing. Like it's a new, it's, you've been waiting for this time to really figure out yourself and maybe not, you maybe didn't even realize it. Some of you guys might be thinking a uh, purpose. I didn't even realize I could think that I have a purpose. Yes, you have a purpose. Where Vanessa and I are here right now, I feel divinely appointed to tell you, you have a purpose, you have a meaning you're for this earth. If you survive this thing, there's a reason you survived it. So why don't you just prepare and, and study and figure it out? Some of you guys might feel like, man, I can't even study. My brain doesn't function right. And that's where I come in as well, too. Uh, actually, Vanessa as well. Like our, our experts expertise and her neurofeedback and everything else that she does with um, her counseling and with what I do in, in cleaning people's bodies out. I mean, it's just a perfect marriage of being able to get people 
in a, a state where they can actually think better. So if you haven't listened to my podcast with Dr. Steph, uh, I, I can't even say her last name, Canestrero, um, we talk about how this affects your mental health, how our, our chemical balancing and even structural affects our mental health and and how she has a personal story where she actually could study. I mean, this lady is genius. If you just listen to her, you'd be so surprised that she, could, she couldn't even read a paragraph at some point. And she has several different um, degrees in education. And when you listen to her, you realize this lady is absolutely genius. So get to the root of those issues so that you can live out your purpose and use this time wisely. Uh, if you need to sleep, get your sleep. If you need to go to the gym, or you can't really go to the gym. We created a home gym. Work out at home, okay? <laughs> yes. And and like I said, do your grounding exercises. Listen to your binaural beats. Um, you know, we talked about depression um, and how that can lead to suicide. What, where does it get to a point, Vanessa, when people can identify where it's, it's suicidal tendencies? Yes. So I have here from the Suicide Prevention Lifeline, have a little information about that. It says, learn the warning signs. So I'm going to read this to you guys. Talking about wanting to die or killing oneself, looking for a way to kill oneself, such as searching online or buying a gun, talking about feelings of hopelessness or having no reason to live, talking about feeling trapped or in unbearable pain, talking about being a burden to others, Increasing the use of alcohol or drugs, acting anxious or agitated, behaving recklessly, sleeping too much or too little, withdrawing or feeling isolated, showing rage or talking about seeking revenge, displaying extreme mood swings. And um, the lifeline is 1-800-273-8255. Once again, one 800 273 8255, they can call this lifeline and they will get some resources. Another good resource is um, texting 741741. Once again, texting 741741. And I've actually called into these lifelines just, just to see like what, you know, what processes they have. And um, specifically for the texting one, I really, really liked it. Um, it was very fast and um, very prompt and they have access to people who are helping out who can assist the person. Another thing is using the resource um, of the cops. You can call your 911 number and um, letting them know that you need a well check or if you feel that a, a family or a friend is at risk, you can also access this, getting a well check. Um, if somebody is suicidal, we need to take them to a hospital, a psychiatric hospital, to get an evaluation and so that they can be monitored for 24 hours because sometimes family members work, they're busy doing other things. So, um, you know, it's just important that we know the signs and especially like if the person isn't eating very well, they don't want to eat, they don't want to sleep, they're always agitated, they're irritable. And a lot of the times people who are suicidal will talk about it. So they will be like, I feel like I want to hurt myself. And we should always take that seriously. Mm -hmm. um, it's not that they're seeking attention. Nobody seeks attention in that way. It's not a normal way to seek attention. And then if there's a predisposition of any kind of mental health issue, so if they've already been diagnosed, if they're bipolar, schizophrenic, de you know, chronic depression, um, chronic anxiety, generalized anxiety, they already have a diagnosis. People are more prone to it. The interesting thing with this coronavirus chaos is that we're all right now mentally unstable. Mm -hmm. So if you felt that you were singled out before, guess what? We're all in this together. We're all right now mm -hmm. in a stage of panic. And um, it's just important that we, we tap into that alpha wave and mm -hmm. we are able to relax that we don't allow that panic to overtake our mind. And it will come and it will go. And it will come and it will go and that's normal. Even for me, mm -hmm. there's been times where my anxiety is like, oh, and then I catch myself. I'm like, I'm not even going to go there. I'm going to write. I'm going to read. I'm going to do something that allows me to relax, refocus. Right now is the time to be mindful, people. We got to mm -hmm. be in the present moment. We can't be 10 days from now. Mm -hmm. Live day by day. Mm -hmm. And let's live in a calm and kind way because we're, our character is not defined in moments of good and you know, yay, let's have fun. like, no, our characters define of like how we behave when things like this happen. Mm -hmm. And 
I've been seeing a lot of very aggressive behaviors on the news. If the virus doesn't get you, it's going to be the people. Mm-hmm. And um, that's what worries me is, is human behavior. And once mm-hmm. again, that's what motivated me to do the, the peaceful mind coach on YouTube and on Facebook and on Instagram and feel free to connect with me then and get, you know, your daily uh, peaceful mindfulness uh, perspective from me because we need that more than ever. And I'm so grateful to you, Dr. Jacqueline too, for just bringing that awareness of what can we do to keep our body healthy? Because whenever we think of any kind of mental health issue, we got to focus on three things, right? Body, mind, and brain Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and spirit. Whatever your belief system is right now is a time to have faith and it's time to Mm -hmm. tap into that spiritual and religious health um, just to tap into our higher selves and hear those divine messages. And Mm -hmm. this is bigger than all of us. You know, if if we look at the impact that the world is having, Mm -hmm. this is bigger than everybody. And in Mm -hmm. a way, it's uniting us. It's uniting the countries. Um, There is tension between countries, too. A little concerned about that. But you know, once again, things are that are out of our control. There's nothing we can really do much about it. So we got to take this day by day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. I agree. So in, are there any other resources that you'd love to mention that would help with people that might be, um, oh, geez, I don't even know where to start. It's like we want to think about preventative measures so people don't even get into the depression state and then get into the suicidal state, right? Um, Yes. We also want to think about, like, if someone's in one of those states. I mean, is there anything that we haven't touched on? Yeah, there's a lot of online um, counseling helping sites. So I think one of them is called BetterHelp. That's pretty. That's that's one I've tried before. Um, maybe also tapping into your church resources would be a good time right now if they have anything online. Um, just being active, maybe, you know, this is the time of technology. We have to think about how blessed we are. Also, the food we have, we have access to canned food, dry food. We didn't have access to any of that back in the day. I mean, we're very spoiled. If, you re- if we really think about the good things that we have access to, I mean, even me and you talking through Zoom mm-hmm. and doing this interview, how blessed we are. I mean, this is something that we didn't have access before. So even though we're not having that human on human contact but we still have the ability to contact each other through technology and we're very blessed because of that yeah i I think that sums it up uh this sums it up count your blessings that's what i mean that's what's going to help keep us sane in times like this it's you know it's we don't want to live in la la land like nothing's happening because you want to be aware you want to be prepared you want to take measures that can keep you safe and and over prepare has always been my message during this time um but in the in the midst of it is let's really see what we have around us i mean not everybody necessarily has a roof over their head not everybody has a stack of food in their house right now or um maybe even money coming in or you know everyone is in their own place and has different resources available to them so uh, being able to just kind of chime in and focus on what we do have really can help to keep us sane during this time. So Mm -hmm. Vanessa, what are, tell us about your upcoming book, your other speaking engagements. Um, I mean, I don't know what, we all don't know what's going to happen. So maybe these engagements might have to be online. I, what are the options here? (laughs) Yes. So I do have a website coming soon as far as uh, public speaking for the cause of suicide and um, developing the human mind and consciousness. Um, That's obviously on hold because the travel situation and um, there will be a link coming soon for my upcoming book. It's, it's related to suicide as well. So the way that people can connect with me once again is finding me online as the peaceful mind I'm sorry, the Peaceful Brain Coach, Bibi Bautista, the Peaceful Brain Coach on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube. And um, my YouTube is barely starting to be developed. Like I said, I just started it two days ago, but you can connect with me there and I will definitely be putting up more updates of the upcoming projects. And my hope is just that 
you tap into yourself and find that peace within because there's nothing in the external world that can give you peace of mind. It is something that happens within ourselves. Our mind, our brain is within and that's where peace starts. Our heart is within ourselves, tapping into that higher consciousness, that higher power, whatever it is that you call the name but tapping into yourself right now is where we're going to find the peace it's not outside Mm -hmm. and i'll leave you with that message (laughs) that was a great message to leave them with all right vanessa well i appreciate you coming on the show um for those of you guys that don't know i have my cerebral detox program as well and um that is a fabulous program that we have time for now right (laughs) where we can sit home and i have um presentations about 30 hours of presentations that you can watch um i i did design it weekly so you can break it down by week and then jump on the weekly uh zoom calls with the group that has been forming so um it's all about detoxing the body so we don't have parasites screaming at you yourself and others and and parasites are intrusive they cause intrusive thoughts we don't want those little critters creating suicide thoughts as well during this time um and any other types of uh chemicals and heavy metals that that can just be weighing the body off i mean there's so much to it but basically we want to detox the body so we can detox our brain and and then hopefully we don't have a bigger problem during this time and just in general even if we didn't have coronavirus we all need a good detox, <laughs> right, Vanessa? <laughs> yes, most definitely. Yeah. So, all right. Thank you guys for joining in. And I just pray peace over you guys. And I just hope that this time is it's actually really a time of refreshing and that we can walk out of this and, and feel even stronger than we, we started off. And in a, in a different place, some of you guys might have new jobs that you actually love now. So I'm looking forward to hearing the feedback on how that works out for you. So God bless, and we'll tune in next week. Thanks again, Vanessa, for joining on the show. My Super Immunity Boost Juice Guide is now available on thewellnesstrinity.com. You'll learn how to grow broccoli microgreens, the ingredients I put in my green juice, and super nutritious supplements you can add to enhance your immune system. Again, go to thewellnesstrinity.com, and you'll receive your free Super Immunity Boost Juice Guide. Thank you for listening to the Wellness Trinity Podcast. Be sure to subscribe for more wellness tips to help you achieve optimal health. Don't forget to rate and review so we can continue to bring you the best content. See you on the next episode.